You know what? When I pulled in there yesterday evening on my rounds, I didn't cover my scooter and I didn't pull it on the porch or the patio and I forgot to plug the charger up. So, I'm going to make a short round today I don't know why I didn't have that thing charged up I, it just slipped my mind I guess and I gotta go I noticed some people got some cans hanging out for me So I got to get out and get them. We'll see if it, how the charge holds up. I don't have to go to Publix. I'd like to, but I don't have to. There's nothing I, yeah, there is something I need to, but he's working on his, uh, I know there's nothing there. She, this lady saves cans for me. She puts out about two bags a month. Just empty boxes, I'm guessing. Yeah, just empty boxes. my snake and spider lady that lives there used to be a high school friend uh, is that crutches they're throwing away I'll have to come make sure I come by tomorrow because there may be some stuff there I can use those crutches are aluminum our scrap and pallet man says illuminati I'm gonna have to get on Paul about something, doggone it. Used to, and I've been watching him from the early days when he was right after he started out. And I had easy access. I, I had his phone number. I, I don't think I ever had an email, but I could call him just about any time and sometimes he would call me back and stuff like that but now it just seems like it's like pulling hen's teeth to get a talk with him uh, I want I need about 30 minutes because he's got some knowledge about I call it techy stuff about YouTube and things I've got to do and stuff and I need to talk to him because I know he knows and I really don't want to talk to him on the phone I want to I, what I wanted to do was do a private live stream with him uh, and talk to him because when I'm talking to him face to face, you know, I can see him, he can see me. And I just can, I can retain more of what we talk about when I'm talking to somebody like that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call him again.
Have I got my? Yeah, I've got my bag just in case. Always look real good. Yeah, I got to get hold of Paul. He can help me out quite a bit. And I don't mean by giving me another shout. He gave me a shout out way back. And that helped. But boy, he could... I'm thinking, gosh, if he gave me a shout out, a good shout out, Uh, you know what? Am I friggin' Yeah, I'm recording. I was thinking I might not be recording. Anyway. Paul is up to 70, over 75,000. I think he's up around 77,000 now. Crazy God. And I look, I look at his channel and I try to figure out what it is. I even went back on, on his very first one, you know, and how he was then. And he's totally different now than he was then. Uh, at first he wasn't bringing religion into it, but now he, Now he does, and at first I thought, well, that's going to hurt his channel, but it didn't. It didn't hurt his channel. It, as a matter of fact, it, it helped it. But Paul was, gosh. Uh, I see him getting to a hundred thousand. If it keeps on going like it's going, he's gonna get over a hundred thousand. And once he gets into that area, it's gonna be awful easy for him to click up another hundred thousand, I would think. I don't know, you never know, but I I see him just really kicking butt and I can't see any particular thing you don't want to come across as copying somebody you know but I'm trying to figure out uh, I'm just not going to bring religion into my channel religion or politics that is your business and nobody else's business. And I'm just not going to do it. Especially the politics. I will tell you that uh, as far as religion goes, uh, I am, I was raised as a Seventh-day Adventist up till I was about 11 years old and then depending on which relatives I was there because my mom and dad divorced in 51 and the home was split up and mom was took off and dad was now so I spent a lot of time with other with relatives and depending on the relative that I was with is what my denomination was if I was with my Aunt Dora and Uncle Glenn, I was a Methodist. If I was with Aunt Mamie, I was a Baptist. <laughs> Who knows what I was? Who knows? I don't know. A little bit of everything. But... Most of my grandmama's kids 
We'll raise the Seventh day Adventist. Hello, dear. You doing all right? <gasps> hey, guys, y'all ought to be getting used to me by now. I believe you are. Have a good one, dear. going by Miss Caroline's. I do theirs every Saturday. They put them in a can out there for me. So I just ain't gonna tarry too long though because of this battery situation. I need, I got a bunch of work I need to do out in the shop. And I need to try out that new chair I got yesterday. <laughs> I hope nobody saw. Oh, I know somebody saw. I don't care. So what? I needed it. I got it. And it's sitting in my shop. Yes, it is. I think somebody's fixing to build a house right there. I wonder what they had to pay for that little piece of land there. It, um, they left a whole lot of trees. So I don't see how they'll, I'm not gonna go in there cause it says posted and no trespassing. But look at that, they left. They're gonna build a house. Where in the world would they put it? And there's a lot of limbs hanging there, you know, man. A lot of stuff, a lot of leaners. Man, maybe they ain't. Maybe that house over where I bought it and they just wanted a bigger yard. Well, so much for the submarine watching. I see some stuff pile up there. I'm gonna Hey, how you doing? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I was looking for one of my cards I want to give it to. It looks like y'all doing some house cleaning or something. You were looking for one of your cards. Uh, yeah, I don't have my cards. I thought I was going to leave one of my cards with you. I pick up small scrap. I'm a disabled veteran, and I pick up small stuff in, in, okay. the, in the neighborhood. Okay. And I see something laying out there now. I'm going to probably... Yeah. Get them doors. Okay. 
Fair enough. And uh, are you going to be putting more stuff out? Yeah. Uh, if uh, um, When you come back to pick up the doors, leave me a card. Um, I'm small engines repair. Okay, so. Well, I could have used you last week. I had to take my darn lawnmower off, get oh. it worked on, and they, they charged me an arm and a leg for that. Yeah, and see. I don't understand why. It was just something in the, it was the deal where when you started it, it would run a few couple of seconds and shut uh, down. Okay, it was a carburetor. It was actually the pen and the carburetor for the float. But wasn't $100 <laughs> out of line for that? Uh, yeah, if they had to, if the technician or the mechanic didn't want to just clean the carburetor, Properly. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nah, no, they just uh, they just found you a rebuilt that they had laying around the shop mm -hmm. and threw that on. Well, I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. It'll take me about ten minutes to get to the uh, house. Not a problem. Uh huh? Uh, not a problem. Um, if you give me your card and since you're local. Okay, I do have scrap metal for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, it ain't a whole lot, but... If, if it's it, small stuff, I can handle, uh, you know. Yeah. Because uh, most well, everything I actually... I actually, I could haul them doors home now. I set them no, up. No, 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 no. I've no, done no. it. You know, I put them... I, I don't want you to do that. Yeah, but I'll be back. Or I can just bring the doors back. <coughs> uh, I can bring the doors back when you pop up because I'm going to be working in the um, yard. Okay. All right. Well, We're getting ready for a yard sale, but I don't think anybody wants uh, doors or anything. Yeah, some of that stuff's hard to sell, you know, it just depends on what it is. And, yeah. And I just do. But I'll be back. Give me about 30 minutes. Okay. All now, right. is that webcam that you have on your hat? Yes, sir, it uh, is, and it's and actually your your own candid camera. <laughs> and yeah, not a problem. To where it's like being transmitted to somewhere else. No, it's it's recording that on here, and I do a YouTube. That'll be on my car too. Uh, my my YouTube name is Junk Dauber. Junk Dauber. Yeah, and okay. I'll, I'll be on the car too. Yeah, I make YouTube videos. I'm trying to get up enough where I can get some kind of revenue off of it, but. Uh, I've got maybe a couple of hundred more subscribers to go. I only got like 750 something. Tell you what, uh, you come back and I'll subscribe because I'm not on YouTube, but uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll give you one more. Okay. All right, I'll be back in about 30 minutes, sir. You only have 100 people that. I have 700 and. 55. Oh, I was going to be like, I would be like the Martin Miss, but uh, 101 Dalmatian, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Me, New Jersey. Okay, because I, uh, I should have knew that by that accent. Yeah. You... Now, it's actually um, alcohol induced and a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I got a grandson that's got. Somebody said they love my grandson's accent, and I told my daughter that, and she she said, "Well, it's not an accent. He has a speech impairment." Yeah. And I I forgot about that because they had to work with him in school early on. Yeah, me too. And um, and it helped him quite a bit. I. But it just sounds like him to me, you know. He's he's just right. like just like I talk. Everybody thinks, that, "Where are you from?" I had one Korean lady ask me what country I was from because of my accent. I said, "I'm just from the hills in North Carolina." There you go. <laughs> but that that's it. But I'll be back in about thirty minutes. Okay, fair enough. All right, I thank you, sir. I'm no, glad. I thank you. I got glad I seen you. Yeah. But I come uh, by here just to do the service? Huh? You were in the service? Yeah. Yeah, Kudos, I was uh, man. six years. Six years of it. There you go. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah.
Hope I don't get in trouble down here. Going down in these ditches ain't too smart. That was easy enough. Keep messing around like that and I'm gonna turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> 